today we honor all with pride. On behalf of the Anderson County Veterans Association, I welcome you to today's Memorial Day service. Today we should look back and reflect on the many freedoms we enjoy because of the many who have given the ultimate sacrifice. We are proud to have known some of them and served beside them. All across this wonderful country, similar ceremonies are taking place to honor the many. Today, we take time from our busy schedules to say thanks, and may we never forget. Our Heavenly Father, we call you Father because you are the Creator. The one who placed us upon this earth, our Father, and gave us an appointment to do those things that you would have us to do. We thank you for the privilege of being here in this place today. And your word teaches us that where we are, you are. And today is a day of remembrance and a day to honor those who have fallen while serving this great country of ours. I've been carrying this around for uh, two years, trying to find the right time to give it to this family. It was sent to me from the Commander-in-Chief of Veterans Foreign Wars of the United States. And it reads, <clears throat> Memorial Commendation presented to you in the memory of Lance Corporal James Ray Davenport, whose devotion to duty, courage, and patriotism has been so boldly evidenced by his selfless service and supreme sacrifice in defending the freedoms of an oppressed people and ensuring the security of all Americans. Lance Corporal Davenport's sacrifice will forever be remembered and honored by those who share the common bond of service under the flag of the United States of America. And witness, we have hereunto set our hands in the official seal of the Veterans Foreign Wars of the United States, George J. Litchke, Commander-in-Chief, July 7, 2008. I said, may we pray. Dear God, we see signs everywhere saying, God bless America. Heavenly Father, it's high time that America stopped and blessed you. Amen. What? 